what's going on guys so i'm out here in southwestern virginia doing a little mushroom hunting and i actually came across a nice little flush of chicken of the woods uh what we're going to talk about today is when to pick it and when not to pick it if you're interested stick around all right isn't that a beautiful specimen i mean just super pretty it and it's nice and moist to the touch this would be ideal the size of the fronds are pretty small again that's ideal for picking in my opinion this really kind of right here is a perfect specimen i mean you can even see some of the moisture the dew down here look at that nice and moist not dried out at all uh, not buggy look at this i mean i don't see any bugs crawling around on it it looks wonderful but check this out. Look right over here. Here's another flush coming off the same log. So let's get over here and take a look at this. Now this isn't too bad either. I do see a few bugs on this one, but but not bad. I mean, actually super moist to the touch. Um, if we look over here at this one, starting to droop a little bit. Um, that's another sign. When you start to see these guys droop over, uh, you know, at that point, we're starting to get close to, uh, you know, something that we wouldn't pick. But when we look over here at this guy, again, you can still see, you can see all the moisture and all the dew. Look at that. Fantastic. You look underneath. It looks really good. I'm going to cut a piece off and show you guys. All right. Look how beautiful that is. If we flip it over. Now, this is Lake, Lake de Porous um, Sulfurious. Obviously the yellow color, but notice how tight those pores are. Real tight, close together. This mushroom has not gone to spore. That's important. So you you, you know if you're going to eat this, you definitely want these pores to be tight. And also you can tell just by looking at the the log that it's on. This is a white oak. Um, if you look at the bark over here, you can clearly see this is a white oak that had fallen, and. Uh, chicken in the woods is safe to eat off of white oak, so we can knock that off our checklist. Uh, definitely safe to pick. Okay, so we've properly identified the right tree. We certainly don't want to eat chicken of the woods off of conifers um, or any trees that bloom for that matter. If you find chicken of the woods growing on, um, you know, real close to a dirt road, you really don't want to harvest that. What happens is the dust that, get, that gets kicked up actually lands on the mushroom and then the mushroom grows over that dust. Then another car comes by and puts another layer of dust and the mushroom grows over that. And really what you wind up with is a really gritty, gritty uh, mushroom. Not too pleasant to, to eat. So keep that in mind. If you find them by a dirt road, especially a heavily traveled one, you probably ought to pass on it. And if you think about how polypores grow, really in terms of like the reishi mushroom, you find sticks going straight through them. Uh, chicken of the woods, same way, you know, sticks, debris, leaves. Uh, the mayatake mushroom, you can even find rocks in those uh, because the polypore, what it does, you know, as, um, as it grows, it just engulfs whatever is surrounding it. Also, chicken of the woods has a, uh, especially the sulfurous variety, has a very sweet smell to it. I mean, it really, the aroma on this is really fantastic. Uh, it is earthy though. It still has a mushroomy smell, but it's a lot different than the Cincinnati. Cincinnati to me uh, kind of has the um, more of an earthy, a real earthy um, smell to it. So it, it definitely comes across more mushroomy. Uh, so keep that in mind because you know you're going to want your mushrooms to smell to smell fresh if they smell funky obviously you're not going to mess with them now i think color probably is not as near as important as uh, uh, uh texture uh and the the firmness of the mushroom you know if it's drooping and kind of mushy obviously you don't want to pick it uh color chicken in the woods can kind of vary uh, sometimes they're super bright orange and then sometimes they're not not so much it's a little lighter paler color so uh, once you properly identify the, the tree and you know it's chicken of the woods at that point you're gonna be really more concerned with the texture of the mushroom is it buggy uh, is it is it is it sagging or not sagging and 
is it starting to get kind of I wouldn't say gelatinous but you know deteriorate so uh, you want it to look good you want it to look nice and firm and and uh, have a great smell to it so nice little flush right here we've got so pretty excited about it what an awesome hike this morning was man I mean found chicken of the woods I also found some black trumpets I found Pleurotus austriatus, the oyster mushroom, and a few chanterelles that weren't buggy. Awesome. Great day in the woods. Hey, thanks for spending your time with me. I do appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, slap that like button around a little bit. I'll talk to you. See you later. Bye.